Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The Huawei King is back. In the past two years, due to various repressive measures, Huawei's mobile phone business has suffered heavy losses and has almost gone silent. It was not until the end of August 2023 that the emergence of Huawei Mate 60 gave everyone a shot in the arm. However, when summing up at the end of 2023, everyone found that Apple was still the top seller in China. According to data analysis from market research institutions, Apple mobile phones will rank first in sales in the domestic mobile phone market in 2023. At the end of August that year, Huawei Mate 60 was released to the public. At that time, many people predicted that Huawei might overtake Apple. As a result, after the final data came out, Huawei inevitably encountered some negative comments. Now that more than a month has passed in 2024, Huawei smiled when the sales data came out at the beginning of the new year. The authoritative market research organization CounterPoint Research recently conducted a survey on China's mobile phone market sales. The data provided show that since the beginning of the new year in 2024, Huawei's mobile phone sales have soared, eventually occupying the top spot. The stock market related to Huawei has been booming, and the stock prices of its supply chain companies are rising. A reporter from Securities Daily reported that China's domestic mobile phone market is currently heating up. Huawei is also continuing to add mobile phone orders to its supply chain companies, and its spare parts inventory has also been increasing. On the eve of the Spring Festival, all major OEMs are stepping up production of Huawei. Many manufacturers have even built new Huawei mobile phone production lines to meet shipments. However, it may be different from what many people imagine. Huawei's best-selling mobile phone is not the big star Huawei Mate 60, but the Huawei Nova 12 series launched after Huawei Mate 60. Compared with the high price of Huawei Mate 60, Huawei Nova 12 has a wider audience. Huawei Nova 12 Active Edition has become one of the best-selling mobile phones of its brand. It is also expected that Huawei will speed up the research and development and launch of mid to high end mobile phones in the future. For example, in the upcoming March, Huawei will launch a new P series, and the P70 will be available to everyone. Huawei Nova 13 series will be launched in June, and Huawei Mate 70 is expected to be released in September. With mid to high end mobile phones coupled with Huawei's continued sales of low end Meimang and Changxiang series, some analysts believe that Huawei's mobile phone shipments will reach 100 million units in 2024. Therefore, everyone is very optimistic about the domestic sales of Huawei mobile phones this year. And this time, it is extremely difficult to win the sales title. The last time Huawei won the first place in domestic mobile phone sales was four years ago. At that time, Huawei's mobile phones performed very well not only in China, but also in the global market. However, it was precisely because of their strong development that they attracted the attention of the United States and were eventually suppressed. In fact, what many people in China don't know is that as early as 2009, the United States 
had already begun to carry out targeted technical attacks on Huawei. The Specified Intrusion Operations Office, established by the United States, at that time often used various illegal means to invade Huawei's servers. It's just that in the early days, what they did was relatively secretive. When Huawei's development began to shake the influence of the United States on a global scale, the United States could no longer sit still and used overt means to suppress it without hesitation. For example, in 2018, the United States asked Canada to illegally detain Ms. Meng Wanzhou, Deputy Director of Huawei, for 1,028 days. When Huawei was leading the way in 5G technology, the U.S. Federal Communications Commission banned U.S. companies from purchasing 5G equipment from Huawei. Of course, the excuse used was the same. It posed a threat to U.S. national security. There are also restrictions on Huawei's chip exports and Google's suspension of services to Huawei mobile phone users. This combination has indeed dealt a very heavy blow to Huawei's mobile phone business. Huawei's overseas mobile phone business has almost been completely lost, and domestic mobile phone sales have also been dragged down. But if it is replaced by a slightly weaker company, it is basically impossible to survive under these continuous measures. If you want to find a way out, you probably have to bow to the United States. However, Huawei is working hard to strengthen itself. Fortunately, they are prepared for danger in times of peace and have long imagined that such a day would come. So Huawei High Silicon was established in 2004. Although it was difficult, Huawei finally broke through the chip difficulty. In terms of mobile phone systems, in order to get rid of its dependence on Android, Huawei also developed its own Huawei Hongmeng system. Huawei's Hongmeng Galaxy Edition will be available to everyone soon. From then on, Hongmeng and Android are no longer compatible. From the beginning, it was questioned that it was a reskin of Android. Now these voices have disappeared. There may still be difficulties when it is launched, but China believes in everything all can be overcome. Of course, the U.S.'s suppression measures against Huawei have not yet been relaxed. For example, the export ban on the export of ASML's lithography machines to China has been further tightened. As an indispensable equipment in chip production, the lithography machines of the Netherlands ASML are indeed better than the performance of domestic lithography machines is better. Huawei still needs to deal with this problem carefully. Developing its own chip production process can probably solve this problem. The road is tortuous, but the future is bright. Huawei's current development momentum is getting better. If China gives it a little more time, I believe they will give China a satisfactory result.